scene four, we're at Candy's restaurant with Todd uh-huh. and Melvin. Um, Jay and the ma- yes thinks that this manager is very fine. I and I too. Yeah. And I've been thinking that What's since his name? Ken- what is his name? I don't know, senior or sick, um, bitch, whatever. <laughs> right. Um, <laughs> Todd, Todd, I feel like Todd is very tired. I think Todd is fed up. Last last episode, we didn't bring up scene four. We couldn't remember what happened in scene four. What happened in scene four was Todd was writing too much. And Candy was feeling like, I'm working, you writing. Your dreams is here. My dreams is here. And we just so busy. We just can't even come together no more. Right. And I just feel like with that scene, scene four, and this scene, scene four, um, Candy is probably going to lose Todd or Todd is going to lose Candy if somebody don't get it together. They're, they are straying away due to passions that one of, that each one of them have. I think that Todd is on this spree of trying to get the same amount of money or be on the same yeah. level as Candy. He's on the money grabs. Yes. On Candy's yes. money. He right. want to be able to have his own funds and say your bank exactly. account look like my bank account. Right. But I don't think it'll ever happen. I really don't think it'll ever happen because Candy has so much money. And well, the thing money, is that he feels like come in forever. that's that New York mentality. He feels like he has the potential, which I'm not saying that he does not have the potential, but you understand what I'm saying. He feels like I'm on this money grab spree because I've got to get my tax bracket to be where we're equivalent. If you file your taxes and I file my taxes separately, we don't file them jointly. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So it's like... He's getting trying to get there and get there and get there and get there and get there. And Candy is feeling lost in the sauce. And, of course, she's doing the same thing with her success. She wants to get this EGOT and everything else. And Todd is getting lost in the sauce. She's not mm-hmm. paying attention to her family as much. Even Ace calling her and saying, I want you to help me. I don't want the nanny to help me because you, you help me understand better. And Candy just doesn't understand the impact. And neither does Todd understand the impact mm-hmm. that they have on their family when they're trying to excel in a monetary basis. Right, on right, a monetary right. basis. Candy Coated Nights is coming back. Oh, yeah. Yes. Right. I was talking to Ace last night, and Ace was like, Mommy, you work so much. What's wrong? Can't you tell me? Okay, a cat can't help you? I just sleep with you and me. It's so bored and scared. I don't know. And I'm like, that's crazy for a six year old. To say that right um i think that um todd may leave after he makes so much money after he get up there where he want to be at i think he's going to start doing things that's going to be like shoot if you leave you leave shoot whatever you know i think he's going to get to that point because that's just how me and get that's just how me and get because he's not I getting what you. he want but he honestly i don't think that, like he want i don't but still i still don't even think that todd would i honestly feel like both of them with their signs me being a leo and you know candy being a taurus I don't think that either one of them would just willingly leave. I think that something huh. drastic Candy would happen. Candy is a Taurus. She will get the fuck out of there before Todd do. Okay, I do think not so. for the reasons that we're giving. It would have to be something like cheating or he's literally not showing her any doing. attention at all. That's what he's going to start doing. I think he's a Leo. He's going to get fed up and he's going to start getting distance. There's going to be a point where he's going to like distance himself. Based off what I know from you, my little sister, my mama, and then, but you are Leo That's yourself, true. so you, I don't know. I mean, I, I do. Like I understand it, what you're saying. It's just that it can't like... don't drop that pussy on him because she already said last year that she wasn't, you know, that sex wasn't right. Can I be honest? Oh God. Average week, maybe two, possible three. I mean, you know, I ain't been on top of my game. It happens. We good. Uh, and Todd. But you know, sometimes with a Leo, I don't think that. Sex is a lot of it, but sex is not everything. And if you're if you're lacking in Fuck that, with that, Leo's sex. Stop it. That's not true. Not all the time. Seven, they want it. Okay, that doesn't mean that when we don't get it, that it's a deal the breaker. Fest. I'll bitch. <laughs> <laughs> don't fuck it. Listen. He about to piss me off. <laughs> um, the food looks good, though. I must say that. The food, man, this make me want to get on a flight and go straight. Man, what the fuck is these chicken... These fucking crispy ass chicken things. Oh my God, Candy. Yeah. If I go up in there, they might spit in my food. They're going to be like, oh, that's Rico Bellucci. Spit in this shit before they go over there. No, I know they won't. Don't want to come over Don't spit like, hey, in how mine. You doing? I blocked you. You got don't a lot of shit to say. Don't spit in mine because I don't talk <laughs> shit about candy, okay? I'm blocking Don Juan. Come over here. I'm requesting Don Juan, please. How you doing, Don Juan? Why you blocking me? I, I did not mean any harm by that. Okay? Child, you going to be trying to take him to the bathroom. Can we come on? We want to fuck you. Uh-huh. 
Um, but this food do look good. Melvin be cooking his face off up in this motherfucker. Right. Um, and speaking of I Melvin, say that. And speaking of Melvin, the, the producer. Right. Come out, Eric Fuller. Precisely. Okay. Hey, Eric. You cute too. You handsome too. You can get it too, Eric Fuller. Eric Fuller. You know we will put in the sheets. Do you want to do it, baby? Anyway, baby. Um, Eric Fuller is asking <laughs> Candy to speak about the shooting. Right. He says, right. Are we going to discuss the elephant in the room? Um, and the elephant in the room is that he got on the motherfucking cast, and we don't know why he got on the cast, and anybody don't talk about it. But we do know why he got on the cast. We know why he got on the cast. Everybody should know. We heard it over the break. But some people don't, though. Some people don't even have social media, and they only watch TV. And some so people don't. look at this clip right here. Then search is on for a suspect accused of shooting a fellow coworker at a restaurant, and that suspect is also an employee. This all happened at Blaze Seafood on Cascade Road, that is in South Fulton. Real Housewives of Atlanta stars Candy Burris and her husband Todd Tucker own the restaurant. Police tell 11 Alive this all started out as an argument between those co-workers. Eventually, police say one pulled out a gun and fired at the other one, shooting the victim in the arm. The suspect took off before police got there. Like the first shooting. Okay, hey. I shouldn't have said that. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> and customers showing up for their dinner on Valentine's Day told us they were shocked. Good evening, everyone. I'm Jovita Moore. I'm George Estevez. Breaking tonight, customers just can't believe what just happened around them at dinner. A gunman walked right in and shot three people inside a popular Metro Atlanta restaurant owned by singer-songwriter and Real, House of, Real Housewives of Atlanta cast member Candy Burris. Channel 2 anchor Justin Wolf on live now in East Point tonight, outside Old Lady Gang 2. And Justin, you've been talking to some of those customers who tonight, were just, they were just out celebrating Valentine's Day. Uh, yeah, George, I talked with one customer who showed up to eat here tonight and she could not believe that this would happen here at this restaurant made so famous by the Real Housewives of Atlanta TV show. Take a look behind me here. The restaurant is now closed. It's been closed for several hours. We have seen a few workers still in there, but police have now completed their work here at the scene. Earlier, when we first arrived, the restaurant was packed with East Point police officers, all trying to figure out what happened here around 8 o'clock tonight. And now we've learned that three people were shot. Police tell us a man walked into the business and shot another man. It sounds like that's the man he was looking for because police are telling us now the other two people shot here were innocent bystanders. Police do tell us all three victims should recover. The suspect got away. We talked with a woman who told us her brother is a cook here. While they was back there cooking and stuff, they just heard gunshots and all of a sudden they see the customers run to the back where they was. And back here now live, the victims have not yet been identified. I did talk off camera tonight with a manager here at OLG. He said they're in disbelief that something like this would happen here and on Valentine's Day on this night when people should be celebrating. Reporting live in East Point tonight, Justin Wilfon, Channel 2 Action News, Nightbeat. All right, Justin, thank you for that. I'm glad more people were not hurt there. Candy is a producer herself. Um, if you go on IMBD, you'll see that Candy is listed as a producer of Housewives of Atlanta. Um, but it only says 2009 season. Um, so I don't know what season that is. It just says 2009. She was a producer of Real Housewives of Atlanta. But I do think she has some producer credits. I think she, I mean, like, producer pool. Like, if she don't want to discuss something, she won't get in so much trouble as Sanya would. If Sanya or Sheree or somebody else didn't want to discuss. Now, Sanya, now, Sheree, I think she pushed buttons. I think she pushed buttons. Now, I'm not doing that. And Candy and Portia, people like that. Right. But Drew wouldn't dare tell producers she ain't discussing that. She and me. Drew need that check. Um, but I think that um, they don't have to discuss this because then it's no longer reality if we are pressing the issue for them to discuss something that they that they wouldn't normally discuss or something that they do something that they wouldn't normally do. Well, the um, thing is that and, it's a legal and, and issue Karen, still. Yeah, cameras are here. So now, yeah, now we can't. it's altered. I mean, uh -huh. cameras are here. We probably would talk about this normally. But and the dispute between here. Melvin and Candy's other employee as well as Candy being an employer of them, if they start to talk about this on camera, it can all be then utilized as evidence with in the tour, I mean, was in the tour, was in the trial and the time right. that they're going to use. But Candy still was saying some things that for the was legal like, proceeding. It sounded like she was trying to protect her place because she was saying he came intoxicated, he came in late, and I mean, of course, it sounds good to put all the blame on him. But what really happened? What really happened is Melvin shouldn't have went his ass outside when that boy said come outside. Allegedly, allegedly, correct. Melvin went outside when the boy said come out. Well, here. it's not really I allegedly because Candy said not at home out. So I, I it's not really it allegedly. Like some, come on, yeah, I bet you won't. I bet you won't. Type of shit. And correct. Melvin probably got uh -huh. shot when he went outside. But I'm so grateful. Well, it was a meet me outside. Melvin. Catch me outside, bitch. Right. And Melvin shouldn't have went outside. I would have never went outside. Now, what the hell is he going outside for? I just don't understand. Well, you know good and well this is your cousin establishment. And you know yes. good and well, no matter you what, you don't bring no type of drama like that. 
Right. They bring, they, you, they you have you at the, exa- as the executive fired. chef. Right. I would have him fired. You're executive chef. Yeah. You don't do stuff like that. And police will be watching Period. me every time I go in and out of this bitch. Um, that's sad because that boy was probably angry and just bound to get Melvin some way somehow. But He's just like Tiny just said, don't let all life. that money fool you. That's because attempted bitch, murder to me. Candy said she was gonna headbutt that bitch and Melvin straight from College Park too, bitch. He can't. That's why Candy has sympathy because she know good and damn well she can't control herself all the time either. But still, you from the ATL and we know how it is. The hot hitness. Right. Um. But Portia did the same thing. Speaking of Portia, Portia actually on Portia Family Matters when they wanted her to discuss um the a big fight that had happened. Um. She she refused to discuss it. She said, "Listen, if we discuss it, then they get to have they'll have something to use, and I I rather not." And Portia did the same exact shit. She told her whole family, "Don't discuss it. Shut it down." So I guess um when you when you up there, you got a little bit of producer pool. You know what I'm saying? Right. <laughs> Like well, you know. said there's a shaman that's gonna... Yeah, the shaman's gonna do the meditation for us. My messed up. Really? From yesterday? Everyone's pretending it didn't happen. And I'm just wondering why. Like, nobody is acknowledging what happened last night. Like, what we're talking about moving forward. I was told not to talk about it. That's what. <laughs> Did Portia text you to not say anything about last night? Mama Portia said, we're not talking about last night. I got a text and a call from Portia. She first asked us how I was doing everything. She was concerned with that. And then to just to be silent about the whole thing. It would have been a perfect time to talk about it. We're all sitting there on the bus. Laura wants us to be healing. So let's talk about the hard stuff. The producer definitely has a point. It's confusing, but no one wants to just throw anyone under the bus. I'm just wondering if we're being real, that at least it's acknowledged, you know? Like. So you done with the thing? Huh? You done with the thing? I mean, we can wrap it up. I mean, it just looks like if we're talking about this stuff, I like to. Okay, let's wrap it up, Alice.